Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Vlog. I am the critic who is a cynic, Odin Well, and today I'm doing a Blu-ray collection update because just went to the P.O. box and I got a crap ton of movies, most of them from MVD Visual, so shout out to them for always sending me some stuff to watch, and a couple of shout outs to a couple of subscribers on the channel that made sure I had a couple of their favorite movies that they thought, hey, Oh, you need to watch this. So the first one up is going to be a movie sent to me by Orange Hat Reviews. Shout out to you, Orange Hat Reviews. Thank you so much for sending this. And he sent me Sean Connery starring in Finding Forrester. This is a film that I've never, ever seen before, as I'm sure. Ooh, the light, the reflection. But anyway, it says Academy Award winner Sean Connery stars in this powerful and unforgettable drama and from acclaimed writer Gus Van Sant of Goodwill Hunting fame. Ah, I do like Goodwill Hunting. With a strong cast, including Academy Award winners F. Murray Abraham, do love him, from Amadeus and Anna Paquin. The film also features rap music superstars Buster Rhymes and an incredible performance from a talented newcomer, Rom Rob Brown. Okay, so I had no idea that Buster Rhymes was actually featured in this film, so that actually sounds very interesting. So uh, again, this is going to be on my list of films to watch over the summer now that we are an official summertime for us teachers. So Finding Forrester, thank you very much, Orange Hat Reviews, for sending that film my way. And the other film sent to me by a subscriber, sent to me by the illustrious Bruce who has sent me countless numbers of movies, but he sent me a Criterion Collection film that I've never seen before. It's always been on most people's top list. Anytime I watch Blu-ray Collection videos, most people own this, so Bruce, thank you so much for saying this away. I still need to watch it, so I plan to absolutely do that very, very soon. And that is Terry Gilliam's Brazil. Uh, so again, this is a Criterion Collection Blu-ray of Brazil. This is a dystopian masterpiece where Jonathan Price plays a daydreaming everyman who finds himself caught in the soul-crushing gears of a nightmarish bureaucracy. This cautionary tale by Terry Gilliam, one of the greatest films of the 1980s, has come to be esteemed alongside anti-totalitarian works like from George Orwell, etc. So the fact that this is anti-totalitarian makes me very, very happy because obviously, especially in the world we're living in now, where totalitarianism seems to be creeping ever so, you know, ever so close, more closely to the surface, uh, I imagine that this film is probably going to be pretty timely with everything going on in the world. So thank you very much, Bruce, for sending me Brazil to watch. All right. So now to jump into some MVD visual films. Most of these are Aero video releases. So I will be talking a little bit about each of them. I have not been able to watch all of them because I've been sent so many things in the past that it's impossible to keep up. So what I've decided to do is whenever I get these bulk orders put in, I'm just going to read through, you know, go through each of the films, give you a description of the film, let you know when it'll be available for purchase, because at the end of the day, I will try and do reviews for them, probably over on the secondary channel, Welcome to Asgard, but this is really the only way that I can really keep up with it. So the first film to review or to talk about is actually a film I've never seen before, and it is actually a DVD of Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights, starring Richard Burton, Patty Duke, Rosemary Harris, Denim Elliott, directed by Daniel Petrie. Now, something tells me that this is one that my Valkyrie, one of my mods on the channel, Tina, will have some knowledge of. Just when I read the name Richard Burton, it just sounds like that would be something that, that she would have a lot more knowledge of than mine. Uh, but again, this is Wuthering Heights, and so now let me just get my handy-dandy cheat sheet available in front of me. Uh, so Wuthering Heights, uh, mistreated foundling Heathcliff and Catherine fall in love, but she marries a wealthy man, Edgar Linton. So Heathcliff becomes obsessed with getting revenge through his own loveless marriage to Edgar's sister, Isabella. Ooh, sounds like a really interesting drama here. So for this one, it'll be $14.95. It'll be available May 12th, so it's actually already currently available. Shows that things have been a little bit behind, so you can go ahead and pick this one right uh, up right now. Uh, again, this is a DVD. I wish that they would have these films released and upgraded to Blu-rays at this point, but sometimes, obviously, the technology is, is falling behind, and it's good just to have a physical version of anything these days because physical media is the way to go. The next film to talk about, it's really not a film, it's more of a concert series, and that is Bush, Live in Tampa, which is actually a Blu-ray uh, Blu DVD and audio CB CD combo packs. For any music lovers out there, this is the band Bush. And so let's go ahead and dive into this one. It says, performing to a sold-out crowd of 10,000 diehard fans in Tampa during their critically acclaimed 2019 Ultimate tour, Bush rocks Tampa like never before. This concert features the band's biggest hits, including Machine Head, Glycerine, Come Down, Swallowed, Everything, Zen. Again, I don't really know that much about Bush. For any Bush fans out there, though, this is going to be, uh, currently it's already available, so it was available April 24th, so if you want to go ahead and pick this up if you're a fan of Bush, again, Blu-ray, DVD, and CD combo pack, and again, these are all, uh, distributed by MVD Visual, so make sure you check out MVD Visual if you want to find out more information about where you can find these movies. Now, this is the next film 
that I actually have a lot of interest in because it stars Alex McCarthy, who's a member on the channel's uh, favorite actor, and that is, of course, Sylvester Stallone in a film called I See You. I've never actually heard of this Stallone film before. I just love the tagline. It says, Survival is killer. Just, just sounds amazing to me. So it says a brutal serial killer is targeting cops and Detective Jake Malloy is on the warpath. But now the killer is making it personal and this dedicated agent is twisted in an emotional nightmare. Time is running out and so are the options as Malloy engages in an extreme gain of cat and mouse with a killer who won't be stopped. Boom! That sounds like a very fun film to watch with, Stil uh, with Sylvester Stallone. Again, another action type film. So if you've seen this before, Alex McCarthy, let me know. Uh, but this is definitely going to be another one of those films that I want to go watch. Uh, this film Film was also already available. It's available as of April 14th. So again, you can pick this one up on Blu-ray if you so choose. The next film is a film that I've never heard of before. However, it does star an actor I have heard of, and I've never actually seen a full-length feature film featuring this person. And so I'm actually kind of excited because I'm sure a lot of people in the comments are like, wait, how have you never seen this guy's movies before? And that is the illustrious Bruce Lee. Now, obviously, I know who Bruce Lee is. I have knowledge of him as an actor. However, I've never actually seen the films that he's been in. Now, I will say this much, though. I'm kind of interested by this because the way Bruce Lee is spelled is the way that I'm used to seeing Bruce Lee spelled. Um, so they have it spelled L-I, but on the paper it says L-E-E. -E. So I don't know if maybe he went by L-I and that was how, like, that's how his actual given name is spelled. And then because of maybe mispronunciations or something, they, they changed it or he changed it. Actors do that all the time to L-E-E, -E, I'm not sure, but Dynamo. Uh, so this is a Blu-ray. Oh, I'm trying to get the reflection. There we go. So Dynamo now available on Blu-ray. So this is uh, when a cab driver is discovered by corrupt producers as a successor to superstar Bruce Lee. They find his rebellious and individual nature may be too much for even their massive enterprise to contain. This fan favorite in the subgenre of Bruce Ploitation star. Okay, now it makes more sense. You see, this is what happens sometimes when I when I don't read ahead, and this is why I like to do it live because then you see my instant reactions. Okay, so apparently there's an art form called Bruce Ploitation, where people pretend to be Bruce Lee or try to take up the mantle of Bruce Lee in a movie. That what's that that. <laughs> So that's why it's spelled L-I, because it's not actually Bruce Lee. It's someone pretending to be Bruce Lee, because it's a Bruce Ploitation film. So if you have interest, any interest in seeing Bruce Ploitation, uh, now I really need to see a Bruce, Bruce Lee film just because of the fact that that got messed up. So I'm leaving that in, because, yep, that's what happens on the channel. But thank you so much for being patient with me. All right, another film being sent to me is another Blu-ray uh, this is from Unearth Films, again, all through MBD Visual, and this one is called Gutter Balls, so another film I've never seen or heard of before. It says, a bowling night will turn into a bloody death match for a team of teenagers as a deranged serial killer is taking th them down one by one. A murder film where teenagers are getting killed one by one at a bowling alley, and it's called Gutter Balls? Yeah, that, that sounds like some B-film amazingness right there. So, uh, But anyway, uh, I did forget to say, so if you're interested in Dynamo, uh, that one is available as of May 12th for $30. I See You is for, for $26.95, and Bush Live in Tampa was $29.95. Gutter Balls, $29.95, available as of $4.28. And then the last film in this stack is What the Waters Left Behind, a film by the Onetti Brothers, another uh, Unearthed Films production. So What the Waters left behind. So it says here, in 1985, rising waters from a broken dam flooded the town of Epicuan. This settlement remained underwater for 30 years until the waters receded to reveal a ghostly ruin. One fateful day, some young filmmakers visit the ruins and discover that someone or something has moved back in and is not happy to see them. One by one, the visitors learn that you don't have to go to Texas for a massacre. Wow. Wow. Uh, I love that description, playing, paying some homage to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, but anyway, so what the water's left behind. Uh, so this is a type of film that you're interested in if that gets you going. Uh, this was available as of May 12th as well for $29.95, again, through MVD Visual. All right, let me get my other paper set up. This one actually features a couple of films that I'm a little bit more familiar with, or at least that I've, I've heard of a little bit more. The first one being the most notable, and that is an Arrow video release of... 
the John Hughes classic 16 Candles. Now, I've actually never in my life seen 16 Candles. I know that it's one of those films that's always in. You know, have those Blu-rays box sets. They have the John Hughes, usually called the yearbook collection. So I know 16 Candles is always included in that. Obviously, I know this is one of his most well-known films up there with things like The Breakfast Club or Weird Science. And so it's a film that I definitely am interested in seeing, especially since this features uh, young, was it Molly... Molly Ringwald, yeah, so it features a young Molly Ringwald, and uh, the only experience I really had with her is in a really terrible show that I saw <laughs> that I saw some episodes of called uh, Secret Life of the American Teenager, where she was terrible at it because the script was absolutely terrible and there was nothing that she could have done. Uh, but anyway, it says, for high schooler Samantha, uh, it, uh, her 16th birthday might be the worst day of her life. Her family has forgotten about it. Her biggest crush has discovered an embarrassing sex quiz filled out by Sam, and to make matters worse, she is hounded by a relentless nerd. Ooh, okay, so some high school drama. No one does that better, though, than John Hughes, so this is actually a film I am genuinely interested to watch very, very quickly. So again, Arrow video release of this 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 film was put out uh, on blu-ray so the blu-ray up uh, upscaling or I guess the new, uh, the new updated 2K uh, restoration of this film was put out on April 14th. You can get this one for 40 bucks. I imagine that some of these films that I've mentioned, because they've been out for about a month or two, probably have gone down in price. Uh, that's normally how it goes. However, I will say this much, Arrow Video's releases, they're always very high quality. They always have the best, uh, basically the best film restoration. They always do really good work. It's usually a 2K or a 4K scan uh, where of the original 35 millimeter prints. And so you get the good visual quality. They always do a good audio mix as well. And normally you get a lot of extra goodies. Like, I can I feel this one has a little weight to it. The reason why is because all of them come with little booklets that have information not only about the restoration process, but also about the film itself. And usually the Blu-rays have extra goodies like behind the scenes and stuff. So if you are a fan of John Hughes at all, or if you're even a fan of this film by itself, this would be a good addition to pick up because you're going to get a lot of that extra stuff. Uh, the next film that, again, I, I know of this character, I know of this woman, but I don't think I've ever seen any of the actual films or anything. I know that she's been featured on a lot of things because I believe she was big in, what, the 80s, I'm imagining? And that is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Yes, Elvira. Uh, so anyway, it says, having, let's go ahead and read this one. It says, having just quit her job as TV horror hostess, Elvira receives the news that she's set to inherit part of her great aunt's estate, arriving in Falwell, Massachusetts to claim her inheritance. She receives a cold welcome from the conservative locals, including her uncle Vincent, an evil warlock secretly scheming to steal the old family spellbook for his own nefarious ends. Okay, so interesting stuff there. Definitely a genre film. This one hit the streets on April 28th for around $40. So any Elvira fans out out there. This is an Arrow video release. So again, similar to the uh, 16 Candles, you'll be able to get a lot of extra features with this particular cover. All right, the next film we have is Why Don't You Just Die? That's the name of the movie. So <laughs> this is indeed Why Don't You Just Die? Another Arrow video release. Uh, this one right here says Matt Fee has one objective, gain entry to his girlfriend's parents' apartment and kill her father, Andrew, with a hammer to restore her honor. But all is not as it initially seems as Matt Fee's attempts to bludgeon the family patriarch to death doesn't go, as, go, doesn't go to plan as Andrew proves a more formidable, not to mention ruthless opponent. So got some probably some blood and guts in this film right here. You got some blood on the front cover there. So if you want to see someone try to attack someone with a hammer and then get beat up in return, uh, this is indeed Why Don't You Just Die? And I will say this much. If this film does not have that phrase, why why don't you just die, then I, I don't think it'll be worth it. So I'll have to check that one out for y'all guys. Uh, but this one's available for $30 uh, and it was available as of April 21st. So again, a horror film there. Another Arrow video. Uh, another Arrow video, in fact, I think all the remaining ones are Arrow video releases, is another horror film called The Wind. Uh, so, right, so that is another Arrow video release called The Wind. Uh, this one right here is saying, When Cian Anderson, Cian Anderson, arrives in the remote Greek town of Monem Vasia, Elias, the landlord of the house she's renting, warns her of two dangers. The wind, which gets dangerously strong at night, and Phil, his suspicious handyman. As nightfall sign witnesses Phil burying Elias' dead body in the front garden. The fact that it's like, hey, the two things you have to be concerned about are the wind and Phil. <laughs> 
<laughs> that just sounds like a good time again a lot of these era video releases a lot of them a lot of times they get like classics like 16 candles but then they also get a lot of these like you know b-level horror films where if you're a horror film collector or you're a fan of the genre you'll thoroughly enjoy them because they're going to be a lot more campy and they're just gonna be a lot more enjoyable for that experience and the fact that you're getting it in a higher quality image in the blu-ray transfer again that's the reason one of the things why arrow video got famous was by trying to basically pick up a lot of these you know smaller b-level films you know make them look really great build a name for themselves and now they've been able to get some higher I guess, uh, more well-known films to be able to pick up and, and transfer as well. So they're kind of like a different version of Criterion. You know, Criterion's known for providing great visual and audio quality. Uh, this is also the same thing with when you talk about Arrow Video. They just tend to take up the B-level horror films, some classic horror films, and also some other classic movies as well. Uh, but anyway, The Win. This one is available as of the 28th of April, and this one is available for around $40. All right, the next Arrow Video release is called White Fire, starring Robert Ginty, Fred Williamson, and Belinda Maine. Again, I have not heard of those people. It's a film by Jean-Marie Polardi. So again, White Fire is the one that we have right here. Let me go to my handy-dandy cheat sheet. It says, when tragedy strikes, Bo undertakes an outrageous plan involving plastic surgery and explosives to infiltrate the mine where the diamond awaits. Bo's plan hits an unexpected snag when, the, with the arrival of smooth-talking badass Noah Barclay, played by Fred Williamson from Dust Till Dawn. Noah's hunting for a missing prostitute, and he thinks Bo and Inga hold the key to her disappearance. Again, these just sound like fun movies to watch. And if I was a fan of the horror genre, I'd probably be like, I have to watch this now. But because I, I've always been kind of hesitant to dive into horror altogether, especially since I get I get scared very easily and I don't like getting scared easily. Um, it's something that I've always like kind of held back on a little bit. But th these do sound like a lot of fun. So anyway, White Fire. So you can see there, it looks like they're trying to get a diamond of sorts in this but again i just love always the explanations but this one's available forty dollars as of may 26 so this one's a little bit more recent of a release the next one is an air video release called blood tide a nico masterakis production so we have blood tide here Again, another Arrow video release. Blood Tides described as when a treasure hunter, Fry, James Earl Jones. Oh, a young James Earl Jones, it looks like. Wow, okay. Damn. Uh, accidentally awakens an ancient sea monster that has been lying dormant on a Greek island. The inhabitants are forced to resume the practice of sacrificing virgins in order to placate the demonic creature. Meanwhile, a couple, Neil and Sherry, arrive on the island in search of, seals, uh, of Neil's missing sister, Madeline. Oh, wow. So... Anyway, you can see, I believe, yeah, so you can see a very young James Earl Jones on the cover here. So, Blood Tide. I had no idea that he did these types of movies. So that's interesting. Uh, so, again, this sounds interesting to you. This one's also around $40. Uh, again, available as of May 26th as well. All right, and the last movie to add, or rather, that I got for my collection is a film called The Woman, a film by Lucky McGee. So, a film called The Woman. Again, another one of these horror films from Arrow Video. So, this one says it is, uh, The Woman is the last surviving member of a clan of feral cannibals that has roamed the American wilderness for decades. When country lawyer Chris Cleek Chris Cleek, uh, stumbles upon her whilst hunting in the woods, he decides to capture and civilize her with the help of his all-American family, including his wife Belle and daughter Peggy. The Cleeks soon learn that hell hath no fury like the woman scorned. One of the things that's also great about these B-level horror films are the catchphrases and, like, the subtitles and all the things leading up to it. It's just, ah, oh, it's so great. So, anyway, Hell Hath No Fury, like the woman scorned. Again, someone who has been a cannibal and has been a family in a family of cannibals who is being, it's almost like, uh, it's like, what, Pygmalion? But with cannibals instead, that's kind of another way of looking at it. That's that's pretty fantastic. So anyway, uh, this one will run you about $40 and it was also available as of May 26 from Arrow Video. So once again, shout out to MVD Visual for sending me all of those movies. I will do the very best that I can to watch them all, but you send me so much. Sometimes it's, it's hard to keep up with them. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any comments or questions about any of those movies. And once again, to uh, the people that subscribe to the channel, shout out to Bruce for sending me Brazil and also shout out to Orange chat reviews for sending me finding Forrester. I know that this is not the typical news video I do, but this is a movie blog and I just talk about a bunch of movies. So let me know your thoughts about all of them and anything I talked about in the comment section below. If you like this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe. It helps out a lot. You're all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day. And as always, God bless.
And now a huge shout out to all of my June Patreon members, Albertus Magnus, Animation Commentator, Brian P., David Bobrizic, Dion, Divex, Enrique Evangelista, Father Christopher Miller, hail to you, Father, Frank the Tank and the Shawhan Wiener Dog Clan, Harold Francis, the Hunk of Chunky, Funky Monkey, Inflamed Wood, It's a Trap Productions, Jason Clark, Jeffrey Toon, uh, Kenneth Cameo, Lady T, Laura Story, Mad Mitch Dunaway, Mike Jackson, Mr. Peabody and his evil twin with the beautiful hair, Orange Hat Reviews, Outpost Dyer, Out of Step with Reality, Riff Magos, Rosetta Allen, Steve Glasker, Teresa Martin, Theodore Benton, Tina Bojan, The DJD Show, and Tina B. And also to my subscribe star members, Edgardo Martinez, John B., Perpetual Punster, Robert Revo, Mr. Roy, Glinzer, G2 Cool 99, Dark Star 57, J. Alex McCarthy Jr., US 888209 Fast, Dean Heiss, Harold Francis, J. Rod, the Beer Guru, and also Nebanon G. Adams and ZK Man. Thank you all so much for being a member of Patreon and Subscribestar. Um, and seriously, it really does mean a lot. Helps keep the light on. Helps me able to do things like the giveaways for my $5 and up backers on Patreon and Subscribestar. And also be able to put more stuff into the actual channel itself. Uh, including upgrading uh, different components. Whether it be webcams, microphones, things like that. All of that helps to support it. And it really does mean a lot. So thank you all so very much. Please, if you want to have your name shouted out or look at any of the other perks which include things like indeed being having access to exclusive 4k digital giveaways every single month and also an exclusive podcast hosted on patreon subscribe star and also YouTube memberships as well at the $10 and up level featuring John the Flick Pig Flickinger. Please check all of those things out in the description of this video. You guys are all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day and as always, God bless.